facial nerve has sensory, motor and parasympathetic components. In lower pontine tegmentum, there is main facial nucleus or motor nucleus, located ventrolateral to abducent nucleus. Its fibers loop around abducent nucleus and emerge out as motor root. Superior salivatory and lacrimatory nucleus which gives preganglionic parasympathetic fibers. Nucleus of tractus solitarius which conveys taste sensation. And spinal sensory nucleus of trigeminal nerve which is responsible for touch, pain and temperature sensations. Fibers from sensory as well as parasympathetic nucleus constitute nervous intermediates which combines with motor root to form facial nerve. It emerges out at pontomedullary junction. Geniculate ganglion is expansion of sensory root of facial nerve. Fibers from nucleus of tractus solitarius and spinal sensory nucleus synapse in this ganglion, while parasympathetic fibers pass without relaying. Facial nerve leaves the cranial cavity with vestibulocochlear nerve and enters into internal acoustic meters. It then reaches the medial wall of middle ear cavity, where the sensory root expands to form geniculate ganglion. Greater petrosal nerve arises at geniculate ganglion and conveys preganglionic parasympathetic fibers to pterygopalatine ganglion. Postganglionic fibers supply lacrimal gland via lacrimal nerve and glands of nose and palate. Nerve to stapedius supplies stapedius. Cauda tympani arise in facial canal and runs on medial surface of tympanic membrane. It then leaves middle ear cavity through petrotympanic fissure and enters in infratemporal fossa to join ligual nerve. Cauda tympani conveys preganglionic parasympathetic fibers to submandibular ganglion. Postganglionic fibers supply submandibular and sublingual glands via lingual nerve. Cauda tympani also conveys taste sensation from anterior two thirds of tongue. Facial nerve emerges out of temporal bone through stylomastoid foramen. Posterior auricular nerve is the first extracranial branch of facial nerve. It supplies posterior belly of occipitofrontalis and auricular muscles. It also supplies sensory fibers to auricle. Facial nerve then gives styloid nerve and nerve to posterior belly of digastric. Facial nerve ends by terminating into five terminal branches between the superficial and deep parts of parotid gland. Terminal branches are temporal, zygomatic, buccal, Marginal mandibular and cervical nerves. Temporal nerve supplies anterior belly of occipitofrontalis. Buccal nerve supplies buccinator. All the terminal branches, except cervical, supply muscles of facial expressions. Cervical branch supplies platysma. Cerebral cortex controls facial nucleus through corticobulbar fibers. Dorsal part of facial nucleus gets dual motor supply from cerebral cortex and it supplies upper part of face. Lateral part of facial nucleus only gets contralateral motor supply from cerebral cortex and it supplies lower part of face. That is why in upper motor neuron lesion, upper face is spared due to dual supply and only lower contralateral facial paralysis occurs. In lower motor neuron lesion, there is ipsilateral facial paralysis. Bell's palsy is peripheral facial paralysis due to unknown cause. It can occur due to inflammation and swelling of nerve. Clinically, there is drooping of eyelid which causes dryness of eyes, loss of facial expressions, and drooling of saliva. There is loss of taste sensations from anterior two thirds of tongue. Hit like if you like this video and subscribe to my channel to get new updates.